Hi, so I'm going to just go through the, the basics of the integration between Sage One and EPOS Now. So I'm on my EPOS Now HQ back office and I've also logged into Sage One. And from the EPOS Now App Store, I've installed the Sage One app. Now, the initial synchronization um, that this guides you through, you only need to do once. And what this does is it keeps your products, customers, and suppliers synchronized between Sage One and EPOS Now HQ. The first time you do it, it does it in both directions. This means it takes your products and customers that are in Sage One and in each and HQ, EPOS Now HQ, and it merges the two and helps you pair the products up together. And it means that the two systems then have the same set of data. You only need to do that once, and from then onwards, the integration means that any changes you make to your customers and products in EPOS Now will push through to Sage One. It's only one directional from then onwards, and so that means that your customers only need to edit things in one place on EPOS Now HQ, which is great, saves them time, means things don't, uh, they don't have two different conflicting sets of products in the two systems. Um, but uh, if they do change things in Sage 1, they would need to come in here and manually click resync. So from going forwards, they should only change their products and customers and suppliers in EPOS Now HQ and let HQ push those to Sage 1. And we can see this in action. If I go to my management section, to products, add a new product. Let's call it a steak sandwich Sage. Let's give it a price. We could fill the rest out, but just for time, I'm just gonna put that one thing in. And if I go over to uh, my Sage account, to products, and then if I search for steak, you'll see there I've got steak sandwich Sage, and that's seven pounds, and that's in there. So that synchronizes uh, in both directions. So that's the same for contacts and for um, supplies as well. Now, that's just uh, a small benefit of the integration. The main benefit is actually uh, in the till. And so I'm now on the EPOS Now HQ, uh, the EPOS Now Till, and if I put through some sales, so let's say I put through a Coke, pay by cash, and then perhaps I put through uh, a different transaction now um, with loads of bits and pieces on, okay, and then pay by card, uh, and then let's do a third transaction here with just loads of different burgers on it. Pay card on that one, okay. Now, when I close that till at the end of the day, um, and I then close the till, this will then in real time send those uh, sales through to Sage One. You'll see each of those transactions has come through as a sales invoice. So we've got there that first one, that just that Coke. You see it's synced with the product. Here we are. Uh, obviously, all the tax that was paid on it, um, that's come through. And if I then go to one of the more longer ones, you see here it's got all the different sales by product. And obviously, what this means is that your uh, sales are automatically pushed through to Sage One automatically reconciled um, into your cash account. If you've got several bank accounts in Sage One, you can have your cash and your card going into different bank accounts here. And that means all your dashboards here will update automatically. Your VAT return will be populated with your sales automatically. Uh, loads of benefits because uh, you don't need to manually import that stuff. It just happens as you're using your till anyway. So when you come to do your accounts, or your accountant comes to do their accounts at the end of the month, all of your sales data is automatically in, linked to your products, um, which means that you can then use all of the reporting about product sales um, that sits within uh, your Sage.